Javira Naroda is an 18-year-old who has had epilepsy since she was five. She began getting convulsions at a tender age, which have since affected her health and education. On the 1st of February this year, Naroda was left home alone with her five-month-old baby after her father had gone for burial in the neighboring village. The young mother stepped out to prepare tea for her baby and experienced convulsions right next to the fireplace that threw her into the raging fire. When I got the convulsion, I lost my consciousness. By the time my father returned, I was severely burnt. By the time Narada regained her consciousness, she had sustained first-degree burns on her head and the entire face. She was immediately taken to Masaka Regional Referral Hospital for medical attention. When we reached hospital, she was given immediate treatment. We spent one month and one week in hospital. Her father Vicent Kalima requested that Narwada be discharged to continue with treatment at home. She is currently getting treatment, although her pain continues to persist. I have a lot of pain when I lie down to sleep. My cheeks hurt whenever I lie on my side. Kalema quit his job to attend to Narwada and her five-month-old baby after the baby's father disappeared. Her mother died and I have to take care of her and her child, but I do not have any help since I do not work anymore. Nalwada's condition is clinically diagnosed as generalized tonic-chronic epilepsy. Medical workers say that the condition is caused by abnormal electronic discharge in the brain. Messages are transmitted from one part of the brain to the other through structures that we call nerves. So when there's a problem in the transmission of this, in the way how this nerve functions, or is in a layman's language wired, and abnormal impulses or electrical impulses come up, then we call that, it will result into a seizure. Medical officers also offered advice on how to handle epileptic patients who get convulsions. When someone gets a seizure, the first thing is to to make to trade you to remove any dangerous objects that there might be for example if somebody's on a high in a height on a high bed on a chair make them lie down don't restrain them don't put anything in their mouth spoons forks because you might ha hurt this person who is fitting or they may hurt you as well as they are fitting doctors also say that epilepsy can be treated to reduce on the number of convulsions Medications for treating of epilepsy, you take them for a long time. Some people would get controlled, would get cured of epilepsy. But some people, at the end of that time, when they begin to remove the medication to reduce, the seizures come back again. So they might need to be on medication for the rest of their time. Epilepsy is a neurological condition which affects the nervous system. The seizures may be related to a family injury or a family tendency. Experts also say that it can be caused by prolonged infections like syphilis, HIV, and tapeworms. Epilepsy can also be caused by head injuries due to accidents, alcohol abuse, and diseases such as meningitis and measles. Epileptic patients often get neuropsychological effects including poor memory and are prone to migraines, anxiety, and depression. Solomon Serwanja, NTV.